Hi. Welcome. Yes, baby. Hi. Welcome so much to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I genuinely love and appreciate you so much for your support. If you're new here, you are welcome to hit the subscribe button. You're not going to regret it. So it's the end of the day. It's currently 621. I just got back home from running a few errands. I'd like to make a quick and easy dinner. I don't want anything complicated because I do not have that kind of strength. So um, I'm going to share my recipe. Today I'm going to make potato wedges and some protein on the side. And um, it's something easy and delicious. I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it just as much as I do. So come along. Let's do this. So side note, I'm only making food for two. Myself and my son, my baby. So I'm not going to make much, uh, but for the things that we need, we need potatoes. Obviously, we're making potato wages. And my beef is currently boiling, so I, I'm not going to do the most with the beef. I'm only going to, uh, I only want to make it dry fry. I'm going to only add onions and coriander. Take care. I don't want to put anything else in the beef. Um... Like I said, I'm not looking into anything complicated. It's been a long day already. So let me start by peeling the potatoes. I'm going to peel the potatoes. Okay, guys, what is happening in Kenya? Imagine I've bought potatoes. These potatoes are so small. Like, potatoes are... Anyway, I don't want to get into that rant right now because it's going to spoil the, my whole mood. But my point is, like, I didn't get big potatoes, but potato wages usually want... As in, but the best potato wages, it requires big potatoes. Ma. But I'm going Ma. to just work with what I have. Ma. Yes, baby. Mm. No, I'm not carrying you right now. Let me cook. So let me start by peeling and washing my potatoes. And then we'll get right back, right into it. So guys, when did you just collectively decide? Because it's, it's a notion that so many people share. Like, when did you just collectively decide that you do not want to be su surprised? By your significant other. I can the way me I find them I find surprises cute and thoughtful and I love surprises. I do not understand. If you're dating someone, if you are actively dating someone, why would you give me restrictions? Why would you give them restrictions that you must call me before you show up at my doorstep? Because me, I'm not going to play those games. If I decide that I want to see you. Even if it's at 5 in the morning, I'm going to show up. And if you give me restrictions, as in, it makes no sense to me. Like, what do you guys think? Is it proper to say, okay, I know boundaries and all, and I know personal space and all. Like, you mean, as in, there are people that take it way too far. There are people that take it so far. They, as in, someone can tell you, at, if you show up, if you show up at my doorstep without telling me, I'm not going to open the door. And legit, they're not going to open the door. So, I, I, I just want to understand. If something like that happens, because I know of someone who showed up at her boyfriend's place and announced. So, her boyfriend, her boyfriend was in the house. She could hear him talking from outside. But you know this girl stood at the door for 45 minutes. In fact, because there, there are CCTVs there, it's the security that came to escort her out of the premises. Because the security said it's not allowed for a stranger to be... And I quote, loitering around the property. God. And you know the heartbreaking part, the part that broke me, this this girl did not dump this man even after that embarrassment because when she got home the man called her and he was like ati why didn't you tell me you were coming you know i've already we have already talked about this and i do not like it imagine the babe forgave the guy like bro what level of disrespect is that like how can you allow someone to disrespect you to that extent Anyway, me, I do not understand what you mean by your girlfriend or your significant other cannot show up at your place unannounced. I do not subscribe to that. Personally, I think it's bullshit. 
personally, I think it's nonsense. Personally, I think that if someone puts you through that, they do not deserve you. If someone puts you through that kind of, that you must announce, you must call. Saying stop that, that you must call for me to before you show up at the door. Utter nonsense if you ask me. But that's just me, that's just my opinion. I'm trying to find the best position to set up my camera. Ha, huh. it's not easy. Anyway, so this size is the best for potato wages, but I was so disappointed because like this is the only big potato. This was the only big potato in the bag. The rest, imagine the rest are this size. The rest are this size, as in Nairobi. Nairobi. Anyway. I think the distinction between potato wages and fries is the shape. So the shape of potato wages is supposed to be something... Something like this. Sorry. Something like this. So this is the shape. So you're going to cut your two potatoes in that shape. And if you want to know that Nairobi is a joke, they will look at take a look at this. Imagine this is an onion. This is an onion. Can you just imagine that? It's an onion. So my potatoes are already in shape. Um, there were some small ones, but I've just worked with what I have because what else can I do? And now it's time for me to season them. It's time for me to season them. So and then we'll, I want to bake them. I don't want to fry them. So I'm going to season them and then I put them in the oven. So the only seasoning I'm going to use is salt. I'm going to use salt, mixed spices. Um, hold on. Let me just get out my spices. I'm going to use some salt. I'm going to sprinkle some salt. Mixed spices, black pepper, cayenne pepper. You can also use paprika if you like. I just want to go in with cayenne pepper and um, some curry powder. There's curry powder. At this point, you are allowed to use any spices of your choice and then I'm going to put some I'm going to sprinkle some cooking oil you can use olive oil depending on you can use olive oil or just normal cooking oil everything just like so I give it a good mix So this is what it looks like. Okay, I hope you can see. I apologize if I'm working on, you know, a few things. So don't worry. We're going to soon. We're soon going to have a better vision of everything. So this is it. The way it looks after I have, I have put the things. I'm going to use this because I'm going to bake it in the oven. This is what I'm going to use. Let's take my aluminium foil. I'm going to use aluminium foil 
so now i'm going to arrange my wedges just like so so after arranging you're going to you're going to put it in the oven you're going to bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for like um 20 minutes <clears throat> so as my potatoes are getting done i am i am doing my i'm getting my meat ready my beef ready i only use capsicum onions and i'm going to garnish it with some coriander when it's done so this is how my beef this is how my beef looks like i'm done with the beef so we only wait for the potatoes guys it slaps so hard it slaps really really hard so my potatoes are still in the oven um I want them a bit crispy so i'm going to give them a little bit of time and then do not forget to flip them over you let them cook for like 15 minutes and then you you get them out you flip them over and give it another like roughly 10 minutes depending on how crispy you want it to be so anyway the conversation i was having earlier i wanted to say we were having but i'm having the conversation with myself but anyway the talk we were having what do you guys think? Would you take offense if someone told you, Ati, you must tell me before you show up at my doorstep? Because personally, I'd be so mad. Like, that relationship will not even go anywhere. I'd be so angry. What do you think? Are those grounds for breakup? Because for me, I think it is grounds for breakup. Because I feel like if you're dating someone, they should have freedom. They should have access to your house. I'm thinking, I'm talking serious relationship not just flings or anything i'm talking serious relationship because the story that I've, I've given right now it was a serious relationship it was not a fling so mind you they had dated for like three years three years but two years was long distance so they had not had that conversation yet because it would not make sense anyway how cute is my how how cute is my wine glass it's so cute it's from my mom's shop i patronized my mom because she sells really cute household stuff ma. Hmm. Ma. Ma. yeah anyway ma. Ma. personally ma. i'd be so ma. mad yes ma. he wants a taste of my wine but anyway let's ignore him i'd be so mad i don't think you'd ever hear from me ma. Again. Ma. Ma. So let's wait for my for everything to be ready because the beef is ready. We're just waiting for the potatoes. And I really hate this. I like when I'm cooking food, I like them to be done at the same time. Simultaneously. I do not like cooking one thing and then it's done and then I have to wait for another thing. It, it pisses me off. Anyway. <sighs> Side note, let me show you another cute glass that I got from my mom. Tara, how cute is this? Yeah. How cute is this margarita glass? It's adorable. <laughs> I had to show it. I just had to. So guys, time is up. I've gotten my wages out of the out of the oven. So now I like to add coriander. I like to garnish it with coriander and raw onions. That's just me. That's just me, but you don't have to. So good. Please, do not allow yourself to die before you try this recipe. I love the, the, the coriander and the onions that I added on top. Icing the cake. I'll see you next time. Let me go and eat. Try this recipe and please hit the subscribe button if you have not already.
I love you. Bye.